welcome to Shoe Crazy Wines, Cooking with Wines. Yes, we're doing something a little wine. different. Ooh. We're drinking wine yeah, we're and we're cooking wine. with wine. We're cooking with wine. Oh, yeah. So, hi, I'm Gwen Hurt, founder of Shoe Crazy Wines. And I am Teresina St. Clair, also known as the Tipsy Sommelier. Yes, you are. We are standing and up. This is hot. I like it's this. It's hot. Yes. And we I got our, do look at our stuff. kitchen. Yeah. We got a faux yeah. kitchen. I think we can make this work. Yes. So what are we cooking? We're cooking chicken cacciatore with a nice salad. Uh-oh. Yeah. Our salad is here. Ooh, our salad yeah. is here. It's have our salad. Soup, y'all. It's here. I'm going to try to eat something nice. green. I'm green. I'm going to try to eat that? something green. You That's that? beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. And we're going to have some garlic bread that yes. we're going to jazz up the focaccia. Yeah, Yes. Oh, you know what? Stuff. And we need to use a little of that for our sauce because we're going to make a modified version of chicken cacciatore. All right. So it's Italian comfort food. Mm -hmm. And you have all these mushrooms and onions and peppers and chicken, except for the vegan over here. We got a vegan in the corner. We're going to take his sauce out for his pasta before put we add the a, chicken. Put it in a small pan. Put it in a bowl. In a bowl. In a bowl. So what we're going to do is we're going to season up some chicken. So normally for chicken cacciatore, you uh -huh. use the whole bird okay you, know, you just kind of cut it and quarter it or whatever uh -huh. but since we're doing it a, you know a stovetop version on a hot plate <laughs> all right now look at us we cut it into chunks and we're gonna season it y'all and then we're chunks? gonna saute it see, see that? that so we've got some chicken breasts and we've got some chicken thighs because the chicken thighs are where you're gonna get that richness yeah mm. so you get I that, that fat i love chicken thighs, thighs. Mm -hmm. like they're baked. so good i love oh. them baked too with a little gravy on you them you know what and i keep the skin on mine you know what? You bad. I am. You are bad. I'm See, horrible. This is skinless. Like full fat. This is <laughs> yes. This is skinless. Gonna do it. Do it. <laughs> Let's do it. And then we're gonna put a little red wine in it. All right. Now. So we're gonna normally, like I said, you would put it. You know, you cook it like this, and then put it in an oven and bake uh -huh. it for about forty-five minutes. But we're gonna do it on top of the stove. So All between right. us, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this together, guys. So bear with us. We, we've got a hot plate and we've got a toaster and yes. a toaster oven. And I'm on bread. And we, she's on bread. I'm she's on, on bread, bread and onions. And onions. And onions. So what we're gonna do is season the chicken first. Okay. So I've got yeah. You guys we got some oregano. Stuff. We got some oregano. We got some Lowry's. All right. Ooh, so with Lowry's, Lowry's, we just sprinkle it. Just 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 hit it. Mike Lowry's. Lowry. Yeah, Somebody gonna get that. Yeah. <laughs> just hit it. Hit it with that. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Boom. And, and then like we've got some, some salt. cracked black pepper. All right. And we're just going to, you know how they used to do on the cooking like shows? And they would go, oh, it's just a quarter it's teaspoon. Cool. Yeah, and they would know what that was. I'm yeah. just pretending here. Yeah. So hopefully we got it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put a little garlic powder. All right. Love garlic now, powder. If you look at our array, we, we should yeah. give a shout out to everybody. A little yeah. Walmart. We usually don't do that, but we're going to do value. it today. We got some Lowry's. We're going to do it today. And we got a little Food Lion brand. And you know why? Because anybody that sells my wine, I'll buy their product. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay, I will buy their product. I so am for that. A little garlic powder, and I mean little. Yeah, I love garlic. Now, love, I love, do love garlic. measure out the oregano yeah i do measure what? those because i'm not like a lover of oregano okay so if it's too much it just kind of overpowers oh. it so i try to use like only a half y'all when those are spices half teaspoon and just sprinkle that in because it's like it I oregano like it. is very strong it's I'm very strong yes now oregano. where's the we have basil and we have parsley oh yeah uh -huh. so you I'm grab the you. okay so what am I doing? How That's the this? basil. Oh, so I, I would basil. do a full teaspoon don't, of basil in there. Don't we have basil? We have basil on the bread. Too. And you know what? You know what is interesting? That's I mean, I used to dry, but a lot of people like fresh basil. Yeah. And I do too, but it always rots in my kitchen. If so mine does too. You have to be really fast with it. But you know what? If you, um, anus, it starts to taste like that. If you eat it raw, mm -hmm. it has that kind of, mm. um, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love I love fresh basil. Now that's a very it. good helping of that. Ooh. And then we're gonna do the same with the yes. parsley. See, this is gonna be nice and seasoned. Oh, yeah. And that's why they call this Italian comfort food because it's got all of these spices and ingredients nice. in it. And then we're gonna keep the the white. Uh, chicken breast separate from the thigh because that cooks faster. Okay. So we're gonna cook the thigh first, and then we're gonna cook the breast mm -hmm. because you know how breast is it dries out it so does. quickly you have to be so careful with it it's delicious but you have to be careful unless you're chick-fil-a and you're like you right. know putting Ooh. it in some pickle juice or something i don't know what they do with i don't that. know what they do but it's but good I tell you, that's a good chicken that's a good sandwich chicken. <laughs> And we still got to do battle of the chicken do sandwiches. We're going to do that soon, We have to do battle of the chicken sandwiches. I was like a chicken sandwich 
junky. Key. Oh my god! In the spring, it's yeah. like oh my god. When KFC came out, they had that commercial. KFC had a chicken mm -hmm. sandwich. Everybody I went up got there one the next day, and that one. Woo! You know what else is good? I that like was a good chicken I like sandwich. Zaxby's chill. I did. You know what? I like it. Zaxby's. I, li I don't like their other stuff, but I like their chicken sandwich. Really? Yeah, I like the chicken sandwich. I thought that was good. I wasn't it impressed was with salt. their wings. Yeah, they, it is salty. It is a little salt. Salty. All right, so now. But I eat it. I eat that chicken sandwich. Look at how seasoned that is. Look at that. Ooh. That is so good. Ah. And we'll have recipes out here, too. So what I'm yeah. going to do is I'm going to put in some EVVO. All What's right, that? now. Extra virgin olive oil. All right, go, girl. We are cooking professional. We are cooking. There you go. I'm going to put some EVVO in. Yes. And this is the pan for our onions and garlic. All right. Oh, am I cutting this onion? Yes, we got to cut that onion okay. up. Okay. How you want me to cut it? Just cut it. You know, just use half of it and dice it. Okay. Like squares? Is that yeah. dice? Uh-huh. Oh, listen to this. You're supposed to be a chef. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be wine I'm chef. A chef. I'm your... a chef. <laughs> I work with chefs. <laughs> I work with chefs. Normally, you're not doing the chef. You're doing yes. the wine, right? Yes, I'm on wine. You're on wine. But I like being on food. You know what? This is kind of interesting because I love, I love like impromptu cooking. Me too. So usually I don't use recipes so much. I, I'll, I know chicken cacciatore from before my mother became a virg uh, vegan. Ah, did I say virgin? You did. <laughs> before, before she became, became a, virgin a virgin vegan, a virgin, oh, virgin vegan, vegan, a virgin vegan, she would make chicken cacciatore and pot roast and all those things. Ooh. And so I do know, you know, the, the main ingredients that she would use, but it was a big deal because she would put it in a, a stone cooking pot. I love those. And just, oh my God. Oh my gosh. So good. You know what? That, so good. That makes me think of fall and winter. Yes. Because I don't know where you are. Yes. But today yes. in Richmond, Virginia, mm -hmm. it was so hot. I it, was it, angry. It's it, like I, I reached a conclusion today. August I ain't doing nothing. I ain't but working you know in what? August don't anymore. Don't you think it's hotter than it normally it is. is? But then I thought about, but you know what? Honestly. Honestly, it is. I believe it is global warming. Yeah. But check this out too. I remember back in like when I was a kid, mm -hmm. back in like seventy eight yeah. or something. One day in particular in the summertime, and it made me feel like I feel I felt today. Yeah. Like it was just that hot. hot. And then I think it's August. It's like I love summer. And yeah. frankly, he tells me all the time. He's like, you always say how much you love summer. Like in the winter time, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait for summer. Yeah, I can't wait till May. June, spring, spring, yeah, right, spring. maybe a little yeah. bit of July. Yeah, it's when been August get here, unusually dude, hot. I am done with summer. And this is this summer. I just think when you walk out in the morning and it takes your breath away, oh it's, my it's a lot hotter. You know it. Fires in California. Let's talk about yeah. flooding somewhere else. Yeah, we're baking. We They're it. baking. We did in it. Oregon and everywhere else in Texas. It's just terrible. It's horrible. Yeah, we got to do something about the emissions thing. I'm, and I'm tired. Whether you believe in global warming or not, something's happening. But you know what? If you something's don't believe changing. in it. You will. Something's changing. I don't, you know, whatever your <laughs> thoughts are on that. I know. You might not believe in it today, but you will. See that? -uh. This is insane. This is Hades. I got to find out where we can go in this when in August, yeah. where it's just a little bit cooler. Mm. No, seriously. You're, but they're flooding. Really? Uh, between the I, ice. Is it cold? Shit, though? Now that's I don't too want cold. To be cold. <laughs> that's too cold. It's summer. That's too cold. It's like, all right, so what, let's, 60, I'm going to start with the garlic. I'm going to start okay. sauteing the garlic. Okay. I got the onions. Oh, God. Gone, I think. This yeah. smells like, my goodness. It smells like somebody with some bad breath. Somebody loves Yeah, me. this That's is a lot of garlic. Like. Mm hmm. Hold and on. you know what? The, the more garlic, the better. It's good for I, you. Honey. I put two teaspoons of garlic in there, and I didn't chop it up. It's organic minced garlic. What? Okay. Then we're going to put the. the yep. um, we're going to put the onions. Put the onions in there. My cubed onions. Yes, there you go. Now you get to saute now. All right. So man. I'll switch with okay. you. I'm going to put your bread back over here, and me, I am going to hit the mushrooms. Let me saute this. While you're doing that, I'll get the mushrooms. And I'm drinking. I don't know about you. I'm drinking. But Always I'll put your one. I'll switch baby. that over. Mm, there we go. Cheers. Mm. So there's Ooh. nothing like comfort food. And the reason I'm cooking this, even though it's so hot in the summer, you would think we would make like a summer dish. Uh-huh. You know, fall and winter are coming. And so these are all good for that, too. 
Yes. And you know what else I like about this dish? You can eat this dish for three days if you make enough what? of it. It's it, the, the longer it stays in the fridge, the better the flavors what? go through that really? chicken. Um, it really does. It's one of my favorite uh, dishes as a kid. Huh? Okay. What recipes did you ladies have handed down from family that you still use today? Oh, um, I love that. That's a great question. Uh, mac and one. cheese, one I use, I still use uh, today, my macaroni and cheese. And um, my mother's pot roast. I still use her pot roast recipe. Oh, mm -hmm. I still do. And believe it or not, none of the vegan recipes. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. Soybeans. <laughs> not with the soybeans. But you know what? She did make a garlic grit casserole oh my that she would gosh. bake with vegan cheese. Um, at the time, it wasn't called vegan cheese. It was, you know, soy cheese or something. But she would make that, and it was so much garlic um, and olive what? oil in it, and then she would bake it. it had a crispy top. So I, I actually, that dish I loved. I love but anything with stuff. grits. I love anything with grits, too. Gouda grits. I had a girlfriend, Stephanie Ooh. Hay. Stephanie made these Gouda grits one Ooh. day. Oh, my gosh. And for a Dutchman that's watching us, it's Gouda. Oh, I'm sorry. She made Gouda, Gouda grits. grits. Edwin, she made Gouda grits. <laughs> I'm using Dim button mushrooms. Yeah, the grits was off the <laughs> chain. chain. I'm using button mushrooms because that right. gives it a little bit of a meaty flavor. Oh, so okay. if you are a vegetarian or a vegan and you want something that has that meaty texture, uh -huh. you can use mushrooms. Oh, okay. And it gives you, it makes it feel almost like you're biting into a piece of meat. I like that. So that's always good. And well, so I'm going to add these to, all right, to what my saute, to your saute, onions and mm -hmm. garlic. And then we're going to add these peppers. Oh. Oh, look at us. Yes, and then we're going to season this a little bit, too. I like to season everything that goes in the pan. Okay. And I recommend that to anybody. Season what goes in the pan as well, especially if you're taking a dish that normally would be baked. Uh-huh. And we're going to do it stovetop version. Gotcha. It's stovetop, and I held. Ah, <laughs> Remember that commercial? And I held. held. And I held. <laughs> 1976. <laughs> oh, my God. God, we're Asian. You went down. back. I did. I went back. We were Asian. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God, that so is, is this so true. Heat right here. Is yeah, it, it should be on high. Okay, because I can't tell which one's high. Okay, it should be there. All right. So there is a lid that'll help with the, okay. you know, because it's a hot plate. So yes. that's the downside to these hot plates. So if you put the lid on it, it should get a little hotter. All right. Now I feel like we're missing something in there. What you am got I missing? Onions, peppers, I got the onions, mushrooms, peppers, you mushrooms. got olives there. Olives. Are we doing? Oh, the olives. That's what Are we're we missing. Doing a, I'm about to say we can make a pizza out of this. I dish. know we could. <laughs> Shoot. We could make a pizza Supreme out of this. Pizza. We could. We could make a pizza you out of this. Cut them. Yes, I'm gonna cut them because I'm not a olive lover, uh -huh. but I like the flavor that oh. it puts into this dish. I like olives like in a martini. Me too. Like now olive I, juice. I will. I will drink a dirty, very dirty yes. martini with the olives, but I won't eat the olives though. I will. You know like the olives. I always eat my garnish. You eat your garnish. <laughs> well, if it's edible. If it's edible, that's true. Okay, so we're going to throw these in as well. And oh, what I'd like to do is add a little bit more olive oil. It looks a little dry. So okay. fizzle some more olive oil in there because what that does is because we're using um, canned tomatoes and paste, it's going to give it some extra body. Okay. So give Tell it a when. good drizzle across the whole thing. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Yep. A little bit more. Drizzle. A little bit more. All right, good. All right. All right. So mm, it's smelling good. It is smelling good. You know what? My family recipe, mm -hmm. my my mom, she didn't make like, she made like, she didn't make like normal, like traditional mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. But we had like very unique comfort food. Like mm. My mom used to make these tack biscuits. Mm. And I didn't realize that biscuits would like normally sit up high. Yeah, you yeah. butter them, they're yeah. layered or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're like high fluffy yeah my mom used to make these flat flat hard flat biscuits. biscuits you didn't have to put butter on they were just hard you can yeah. almost taste the baking soda in them wow they were so hard but that's what i grew up with she yeah. made those biscuits and we had this dish called red i had the red right I had the, right the red is when you don't feel like things going right make some red it's like that's what you told me right here Hold yeah. it to your chest. It's a pasta dish. Mm -hmm. And instead of beef or sausage, you mm -hmm. put bacon. It's bacon. Full bacon fat, everything. Yeah. You put everything yeah. in it. Onions, a lot of garlic. garlic. Oh, my God. Yeah. And see, that again, comfort food, comfort. right? Comfort. If I had takes a, you back mm, home. 
If I had a bad day, I call my mom. This is when I was like a young adult, and you always have bad days. You always when you're have like bad 21 days. To 25, yes, you, do. you had a whole yes, lot of bad do. days. Yes, you do. I had a bad day. I call my mom, and my mom will come over. She won't say nothing. She just go in the kitchen and make that red make and the sit red. beside my be my bed uh -huh. and watch me cry Aww. and say it's okay, baby. It's okay, and the red's and here to help. <laughs> and look, and oh. I'm sitting up there. <laughs> Now that is a unique story. This that true. is a unique Those story. Those unique family yeah. recipes, and she had this other one called Jive, which was mm -hmm. the same thing, but it's always it's always something inappropriate mm -hmm. in it. Like mm -hmm. it all fans always mm -hmm. something like the bacon, and then it, with the Jive, it was like fat back, fat back, like Ooh. pure like fat yeah. back, and it was a vinegar base, same on pasta, yeah. lots of pepper. Yeah, but that's what you made if you hurt, if you fell off your bike. Yeah. And you, you know, you yeah. sitting up there, you you bruised up. Mama yeah. would make a big pot of I, jive or big pot of red, and you just eat it. That bag, I feel my arteries closing as you talk girl. about it. It's a good thing I'm healthy because oh we God. ate a lot of that. See, we never had any pork products or lamb. Wow. No goat, no lamb, um, anything that was gamey or something like that. Uh -huh. We ate chicken and. Not even a lot of beef, but mostly chicken mm -hmm. and fish. Um, we ate more lobsters than anybody would what? ever think. You grew up in New York. I grew up in New York. And for holidays, my mother always had lobster on the table. I love you. So mom. it was never like this fancy dish lobster. to us because it was like we had it, you know, enough where it wasn't that fancy. And I hear you like know? in Maine, it's like it's nothing. It's like, yeah, it's like, you know, that's lobsters are so inexpensive oh yes that's the truth i got that the best true. mom mom if you're watching i love you thank you for i would like a pot of red too oh my like god if we're yes. talking you know there you go you, you feel like almost have it here just throw some bacon in it ain't lying throw some bacon but that's in. a good that's a good matter of fact i haven't had any in so long Ooh, our, oh look at that's, us that's, that's coming along that's good oh i look can't little, use this spoon okay um, you will oh, let me use this one okay I can't use this oh, one either because the frame. You need a new one? I need this one. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to use this for meat. Dang right. on that chicken looks Yeah, that good. is nice and seasoned. Look at that one right mm -hmm. there. Chicken cacciatore. Chicken cacciatore. You can, you can make anything sound Italian. Yes, you can. <laughs> you really chicken, can. Chicken cacciatore. You really can. Look My at that. My name is Teresina. So that <laughs> 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 I love that. Absolutely. Wow. All right. I need more olive oil and olive oil is so heart friendly i love this oil. i love olive oil i do too and you know what the the brand that i love the most because it's mild in flavor uh -huh. is the great value one get out i said you know i i have tried so many olive oils from italy and I'm everywhere when i travel to, to italy that. and it doesn't have that super heavy flavor and so this is the one you i know. usually choose because of that so now I'm we're going to put in the chicken breast the chicken breast does not take as long as that beef so we're going to oh. leave that in there and I don't, because we're doing it on a hot plate, we have to cover it. Yeah. So, that so it don't get dried in. out. Right. But the you know what in. is funny? It's like I am a container junkie. Yeah. So I will buy my olive oil mm -hmm. based on the container. Really? Yeah. If it's a nice container, if I know it's going to look good on the shelf. <laughs> That is funny. That's but funny. my palate That's is like you, nice. like people buy wine. Right. Right, 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 right. The label. The label. Right. The label. I'm like that yeah. for olive oil. Yeah, I shouldn't admit oil. that. But it's the truth. Yeah. And it's like uh, my palate does not know yeah. olive oil. oil. See, you know I what do, I'm saying? I, I, if it's strong, I just can't use it. Oh. I can't. I have to put a pat of butter or something in it to okay. take that, you know, that from it. Uh -huh. And then I found... Of course, I'm, you know, bargain hunting when we were in the throes of poverty, which right. you crazy. Right, right. <laughs> we had no money. Okay, everybody go to Walmart when you mm -hmm. don't have any money. Let's call it a Yeah. Today. Oh, my gosh. And so it's 16 for this olive oil and eight, eight ninety dollars for this. That's Bingo. what I got. And I went, Every you time. know what? I love this olive oil because yeah. it's so mild. And it's light. And flavor. I like light. But I do like for them to say on there, light. light. Like, so it's not going to give you that right. heavy. The heavy. Thick. I can tell the difference in that regard, but yeah. there are people that really understand olive oil the way yeah. we understand wine. Yeah, and they would never use mm -mm. this mm -mm. olive oil because they're they're connoisseurs of olive oil. And there's a lady that has a shop. I was told in uh, Chesterfield or Chester, what? and she has all different types of olive oils. Yeah, oh, I, like I think it's in Chester. I've got to look, but um, it's woman owned too. Okay, which kind of takes us into your ten tips. Oh, so, yes. We have oh 10 my tips gosh. while we're okay. cooking this chicken. Okay. okay. So, everybody, August marks oh, more my more garlic. 10 year okay. anniversary at the Tipsy Sommelier. And it came fast. 
but I sat around and I thought about that, you know, this month, mm -hmm. I really had given it some thoughts and it's like, I'm not a business coach. I am nobody's business coach. Okay. But I'm I struggling think now. that Where'd my people can learn. Okay. You got it. There. Is it here? It's okay. There, but what's, what's going on here? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Right here. All right. That's what you need. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, congratulations on your 10 year anniversary. Let's at least fast. here. Let's oh, thank you. Let's toast. Toast. Cheers. It. Cheers. And I know this. I know that in COVID, people are like, they're not wanting to go back to their jobs. Mm -hmm. So there are some people are open in businesses. And I tell you, let me help you learn from my mistakes. Yeah. I am generous with this. There's no shame mm -hmm. in my game. Yep. If I can save you some headache, some heartache, whatever, I'm going to do it. So I got 10 tips for you. If you are thinking about opening a business, if you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, Everybody that, always say, number one, everyone mm, always say jump. Mm. And I say, yes, jump by all means. Yeah. But jump into shallow waters. And what do I mean by that? I mean, when before you leave your job, you have a business plan. Before you leave your job, you have six months of your um, expenses saved. Rainy day, you need to have that in your back pocket. You need the main thing, though, you need to have a business plan. Don't come out here crazy like you're going to do it and you're going to wing it and it's going to fall, you know, the way it falls. You will fail. Have let a me, business let me, plan. I, I agree with that a, a thousand percent because people don't really plan for right. what they're doing. You need a roadmap. You do. You need a roadmap. But what about people that say, I'm just going to do it part time and then have a side gig? Do they still have to have a business plan and all that? I think so. Yeah. I think if you're going to do it, if it's going to grow into anything substantial, you really need to have a business plan. Yep. So that's number one, please. And I encourage people to do it because that was the best decision I've ever made in my, well, one of the best decisions sure. I've ever made in my life. Yeah. Okay. Number investing. two. That's an investment. A business an plan in, is an investment, an investment and you have to invest in your company. You have to invest in yeah. your company. Number two, this is important. Find the customers that want the products and the services that you offer. Now, I say that because when you leave your job, everybody loves you. Everybody's going to support you. Oh, my God, I'm so happy Before for you. you. Mm. These same people, and it's no offense to them. You can't spend a lot of time trying to figure out why people aren't buying from you, why these people aren't coming to your events, why these people aren't buying your products. You cannot put a lot of energy into that. When you're selling things, don't always go to your family and your friends first. Tell them what you're doing. And if they want it, they will buy it. You need to spend that time and that energy finding the people that's going to buy your product and your service. Right. Now, let me let me give you a tip, though. Let me tell you this, though. And you cannot, don't, don't get in your feelings about this because it will drive you crazy. People will watch you. You know, they will not publicly on social media. They're not going to publicly like your stuff. You're not kidding. Gonna, no, 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 no. Seriously. It's like some, wow. some people will. Yeah. But a lot of people won't like the people that you expect, the people that had you. Yeah. That was like, oh, my God, I'm so happy for you. Yeah. These people will watch you now. I'm going to give you an example. When you circle back and you see and you posted all your events, all your things on social media, mm -hmm. there's like no likes. Get comfortable with that. Yeah. Get comfortable with yeah. that. You don't need to like, just put it out there. Yeah. People see it. Trust me. You go back and you visit somebody at, at your old job or yeah. wherever, mm -hmm. and they're going to say things like, oh, wow, I see you're doing big things. You're, I, I, I saw you had that event and I saw mm -hmm. you. Did. They did not like it. You had no idea they, they even saw, saw it. it. Do not. That's interesting. In yeah. But please don't. Don't try to analyze it. Don't get in your feelings yeah. about it. Yeah. Go get yours. This is a, sl a solo venture that you're doing expect that okay number three what was number three okay <laughs> number three understand what entrepreneurship really looks like sometimes being an entrepreneur looks like being an uber driver, driver. yeah and the first person you pick up that day yeah. is a drug dealer at six o'clock in the morning Ouch. with a phenomenal work ethic Trust me, I have done that. I'm serious. I picked up this dude at like 5.45 yeah, in the morning. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, this is yeah. me. It's like, you know, I'm always yeah. trying to find You're the positive to find, thing. Yeah. You take that money, but please put some of that money aside and do something a little less risky. That's me. But I'm saying that it's not always going to look like that. That money is not going to always come in. And at the end of the day, you need to make sure that your ends are met. Your four walls are covered. You need to do what you have to do. It's not glamorous. Yeah. You have to do what you have to, to do. do. 
And all these people that don't don't worry about looking rich. Yeah. Because that ain't going to Oh, wait you. a minute. It's the fake it till you make it. Yeah, thing. I, hate I don't that. believe that. I hate that. And I don't which believe brings that. Me to, <laughs> which brings me to my third point. Grow your business. No, fourth point. Grow your business slowly. Be patient. Unless you absolutely have to incur debt, don't do it. Because in life, more. at the end of the day, if you have an LLC, if you have a small business, your your personal debt is not separate from your business debt. It you is can, not. You, you try to make it look like that, but at the end of the day, it's one and the same. Same, yeah. Do not incur debt that you don't need. Slow down. Buy as you need to, because there's always somebody out there that's going to want to take your money. There's always a company out there or something out there that you think you need, and, and you don't. And you need from my experience, uh -huh. I just want to say reiterate another piece of that. Protect your credit rating like you would an infant. Yes. Your newborn baby, protect your credit rating. I didn't do that. And it's a uphill climb yes. to get your credit rating back up. And yes. you need so that for both you your business and personal. You need to grow like that mm -hmm. at that level. Yeah. But a lot of us are like, let's say, you know, I don't care if you're trying to do a dog walking business. Yeah. You don't have to buy all these specialty leashes. Don't do it. You buy the leash as you got the dog. I'm just giving them. I don't know anything about a dog walking business. So I'm just saying you just got to watch your pennies. Now, another thing you have to guard <laughs> is your magic. Now, what I mean by that is there, there are a lot of people out here, most entrepreneurs, they got something special. And if you're like you're networking with people and you're doing your thing and you're smoothing and you're mm -hmm. like, there are people out here. And I learned this the hard way. There are people out here that will pimp your magic. They ain't worrying about what you're doing. They're not worried about your goals. They see you in a position in their business. And when you're hungry and when you're, you know, you're having problems paying your, your debts, your bills, whatever, you know, paying your mortgage, your rent, whatever, this becomes attractive. Mm -hmm. Be careful with that. Keep your magic own your magic. That's why you left your job anyway. Because exactly. lot, I know that's why I left my job because I was. Well, they threw me out, but all right. Yeah, but I'm Whether like, you go on your own. All my magic if you go on your you're own or if you're invited out. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, keep that in mind because there are plenty of people out here who will, will got a vision. They think their vision is more important than your own and this bigger and they're going to, you know, you're going to do these things and make them look that much better. Don't worry about that. Guard your marriage. Magic. Okay, number six. Now this is this is this is a little tricky. Beware of the business coach. Okay, I'm I, I'm not hating on business coaches, okay. but they come for you as a new entrepreneur. Yeah, they're coming for you. Yeah, you can't afford a business coach. Can you not afford a business coach? No. When you just start out, you know what you're doing. If mm -hmm. you have a business plan, you work your business plan. Right. Now, if you do get a business coach, the business coach that you need, it's out of your budget. You're going to have business coaches that come to you and they're growing their business the way you're growing yours. If you don't have more than I have, if you don't know more than I know, no. if you don't, you know, you can't yeah. coach me. Right. You can't coach me. Right. And that's what people need to realize. It's like I might this girl that I was contemplating mm -hmm. allowing her to coach me because right. she, she they're salesmen. They right. know not all of you, because I know some really good business okay. coaches. So seriously, right. I'm not putting everybody in right. the same basket. Right. But these people that come out, they're brand new, they want to coach you because you look good on their resume. But here's the thing. If it's they, the same thing with the marketing. Like you driving for Uber, right. I don't need you to coach me. Right. I need somebody who has something that I want, who's you know more successful than I am, has more than I have. There we go. Okay, that's what I need to coach me. That's I mean that's just me. I need to see what you've done, and you have to be in the position to show me how to get where you are well, here's in the other my thing, business. And this is what I've learned to ask for too, because you're right. As a new entrepreneur, I would simply, you know, say, okay, this sounds good. Yeah. It looks good. But then I've learned as I grew into myself being an entrepreneur to ask key questions. Right. 
who did you right. help bring to market? Like they would say, I can help bring your brand to market. Uh huh. Right. Well, tell me which you brands you a, bought to market. Right. You have to and have how a they're track doing record. in the market. You have to have a track record. And it record. would always be something that I never heard of, which right. is fine because it could be regional. Mm -hmm. But if it's regional, what region? Right. And where is that product, you know, uh, sold in that region? Right. Exactly. So, where, exactly. You know it's not on the screen, right? Yeah. Oh, you've got to put the. Okay. Okay. So the TV has, you know. No, the, there's you know. absolutely the screen is black. Yeah. 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 Okay. They can see us they though. See. Okay. Yeah. So that's something. So and, and instead I say in the beginning, mm -hmm. okay, in the mm -hmm. beginning, instead. Yeah. Get an accountability partner. Yeah. Now, what is that? Accountability partner is in the same boat as you are. They're growing their business, and it's just somebody that's keeping you accountable mm -hmm. for what you do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you are, if you say, like, it's somebody you meet with, like, every week, and you say, like, tell me what your goals are. Tell me what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so, so this week, before we meet again, you're going to have these things done. That's right. a good way to start because you know what you're doing. Right. You know, you know what you're doing. There is going to be a time where you're going to need a business coach. But at the beginning, I don't think you do. It's not in your unless you have a lot of money saved up for one It's probably not in your budget. So I went on on that a long okay, time. Um, yeah. OK, so. Right. OK, here you go. I'd like to talk about people that like to get you to do things for free. You're, it's another thing that you're going to get when you mm -hmm. first start out. Right. Silent auctions. You got to meet people that say. Oh my gosh, I love what you do. Mm -hmm. I have a bunch of wealthy friends. Uh, come over to my house and do this wine tasting yeah. for me. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, Celestine, hello. Hey, Celestine. So, We're on with that mac and cheese throw down. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you know, let me look. With that, let me tell you something. Year one, if you want to give away your stuff for free, do it. Yeah. If to build your portfolio, yeah. by all means, yeah. do that. Give it away for free. Right. Year two, your portfolio need to be tight. Okay. So when they come and they say, oh, but it'll be such great exposure. Sure. Let me tell you something. People that don't pull their wallets out are not your customers. They're not your customers. They're not your customers. So here you go. Here's the thing. You go to this prison, you meet this lovely person. She's got money. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to get you in front of my friends. They have money. Right. OK. If they're friends like you that have money, but don't pull their wallet out for my service, mm -hmm. I don't need to get in front of them. Right. Right. I don't need to get in front of them. So the, which brings me to my next point. And you need to have phrases to get you out of this. Now, my number one now is like, well, my free experience is a whole lot different from my paid experience. Right. My free experience, I may or may not show up. Right. My free experience, I may come up late. Right. My free experience, I might just want to kick it with your with your rich friends mm -hmm. and then show you a little wine. Right. It's different from what you pay for. Right. So you need to let people know. Like year two, you should not be doing things for exposure. Well, I would I'm gonna say unless it's strategic. Right. Unless it's strategic. If you're trying to open up a new market. OK, so I'm going to just take that. Yeah, my, Thank you for my that. example, like, yes. so we're going into Florida, so we need to open up a new market. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do some, you know, some donating, if you will, because uh, in, in Florida, you can, Virginia, okay. you can't, of wine. Different. Because That's we need different. people to drink this wine and go to the stores and buy it. So it has to be strategic. It you're has right. to be strategic. And I absolutely abhor people that say, but you'll get exposure, but you're charging mm -hmm ticket prices so right. you're making money on the ticket right price the wine or the shoes or the gum or the shoe strings right into the ticket price exactly. and pay, so that that person. pay that professional exactly. her money because yeah. at the end of the day and i'm yeah. like been in business for 10 years and i promise you i've had this conversation with someone last year and i'm like you know what at this point i accept the currency that my mortgage company accepts right that's it i'm that's sorry it. Yep. you found me just, just again, it goes I love back that. to Say that again. Say that again. I love that. What? I accept the currency <laughs> that, that my, my mortgage, mortgage company, company or my accepts. landlord accepts. Right. And, right. And that my landlord accepts. And that my landlord accepts. Or my I mortgage company. I can't say, oh, my God, you come, you let me stay here for free, and I can get you in front of my rich friends. And some exposure. Absolutely. So we're not doing that anymore. Doing Year that. two, you shouldn't be doing that. Right. 
unless it's strategic. Strategic, like Gwen unless says. it's strategic. Okay, and now, okay, that brings me to eight. Like you have to learn phrases to get out of it. Like I have a blanket email that says I'm not doing silent auctions. That's right. just me. Yeah. It's got to be my ministry. It has to be my my yeah. my passion. Right. Because in my experience, not speaking to you, in right. my experience, right. I have gotten zero business from, silent, from doing silent, silent auctions. auctions. It's true. You're not getting any business it's from true. that. You're not going to you get don't. any residual business you from don't. that. You don't. So if you do it, do it because that's what you want to do. Otherwise, yeah. Have a letter that says, in my experience, da 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 yeah. You say things like, that's not my ministry. That's not my passion. I mm -hmm. do give, but I give the things that I'm passionate about. Yeah. And this is not something that I'm passionate right. about. Because, again, there's always somebody trying to take your money. Okay, so that's number eight. Number nine, this is a biggie. Give more than what people expect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Put it in your numbers. Know your yeah. numbers. Put yeah. it in your numbers. Yeah. But make sure you give more, more than people are expecting because that's what brings people back to. Right. And your customer service game got to be tight. I don't care if you're selling this product or if you're doing a service. Your customer service game needs to be tight. And that's, that's true. been my saving grace. People come back to me and do my business and, you know, do services with me mm -hmm. because I treat people very kindly. Yeah. And it is about building relationships. It is about that. And finally, you remember 2020, the word of 2020 was unprecedented. The word in 2021 is pivot. I was pivoting in 2018. I was whatever your skill set is, whatever you have that you can make some money off of, girl, man, boy, whatever, work that. Work it. And, I, and I'm going to take pivot to another level, mm -hmm. which is if your business isn't working. Right. And you still want to be in it, which is what I did. I did four pivots in Shoe Crazy. Oh, four. wow. Four. I remember that first yes. one. Yes, I yeah, did four. Them. And because you have to, if you still believe in your product or your service or whatever it is that you're offering, um, and you still want to be in that, and it's not working for you, right. then pivot. You have to move pivot. on. Pivot, yes. If there is something else, there's always something else that you can do. But you need to sell things and um, offer services that people want and look for those people and it may be just a niche thing but find them and that's those are my 10 tips and, yep. I, and that's what i've learned the hard way and that's it has not been that easy but it's been great i would yeah. if i had to do it over again the you would exact same way i would do it over again the exact same way while you were talking i actually seasoned up everything oh girl yeah <laughs> i put the wine in what which and wine I did put, you use i used both the the Portuguese wine and the shoe crazy Ooh, wine. All right. See, and I've never used this um, this particular uh, Italian uh, brand of tomatoes. Uh huh. They're a little more tart than I'm used to. Ooh, um, so I put a little good, sweet Bella in it as well, just a little bit. Hey, look. Let me tell you this too. This is the last thing I want to say about that about the entrepreneurs. Again, I'm not a coach. I don't want to coach. I don't want to coach. I don't want to mentor. I don't want to do none of that. But if you do have questions, you can call me. You can no, don't call me. You can email me. <laughs> you can email me. You I call promise. when? Yeah, you I can do email mentor. me. Yeah, I do mentor anyone. at info at TTS One. Ask me your questions because I'm all about you. I yeah. I, I I want you to succeed, right. but you you have to be smart. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Communication is very important. That is, and I think it's um, it's uh, different paths when you have a product you're taking to market mm -hmm. as opposed to when you provide a service right. to someone. Um, so it can be very cold in what I do, right? right? Because you're usually over the phone. It's not mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, in kind, at least at my level. And you will now, regret the way you treat salespeople when you start your own stuff. If yeah. you treat salespeople poorly, you're going to regret that because I was like, I took for granted when I was in interior design, mm -hmm. we had people coming in all the time, showing us stuff. And yeah. I love y'all all. Yeah. I respect you. And I'm sorry yeah. for every appointment that I did not show, show up. up to or didn't phone call. You that didn't I did return. not make. I mean, yeah. I am sorry. And yeah. I have paid for that 10 yeah. times yeah. over. God bless you. Well, you it's know, a humbling experience. It is a very humbling experience. And when you call somebody for two years before right. you pick up the phone, um, but I try to level set it, right? So when people call me for stuff, I always try to answer and I always say, don't call me Instagram or direct message, Facebook direct message. Mm -hmm. And I think anybody that's ever contacted me that way knows that I will respond back to them. And okay. I make it my business to do so. Good for you. Whether we're going to do business together or not, I listen, mm -hmm. right? And for that very reason as to right. what you said, because I've been knocking on doors. I've made yeah. the phone and calls that nobody, nobody responds to. But here's something else that I find interesting. 
So I've taken my company from a local Virginia company uh -huh. to resell in eight states and yeah. probably 25 before this end of this year is done. And I will never get invited to speak about how you build a business. Wow. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. And it's like, and I go to some of these <laughs> things and they wow. have... You know, go to some of these things where they say so and so is on the panel, uh -huh. and I don't take anything from anybody, right? right? But I'm thinking, I've grown my business outside of Virginia, outside of Richmond, right? Right. right. So right. you would think that someone would want to know how do you do that, right? Exactly. I go cross borders and then into all these other states, but I find it interesting that I've never asked for that. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go tip the switch again because we are in a warehouse. Yeah. So it is for some reason. Going a little crazy. And it's and you know what these hot plates, I'm telling you, I um I have an apartment upstairs in my house and the electricity is crazy. It's like if you plug in a hot plate, it blows everything in there. I had no idea how much electricity they oh, my goodness. What do we what do we need? We're to gonna unplug. have to just we're gonna do this one and just have to eat yeah. it just like it is but before it's, look, I it's, it's vital funny. product. So I'm gonna put Franklin's in here before I add the chicken in All while right. it's still hot. Chicken cacciatore. And I have a... This one's still like Stephen. It should have cooked a TV. little bit longer, but let's It's hard for me to... to um, when you can't you know. see something, right? Right. I need to see. I know. Yeah. Yeah. This is okay. great, though. We I'm to... reaching across everything, so bear with me. This is like not how I normally do things. Oh, you know what? I didn't do anything with the bread. Gwen, you want me to oh. just put this in here? Oh, God. I don't know. Do if I need to... Oh. Yeah, plug that oh. one in. I oh, unplugged this one. This so one. Okay. <laughs> let's so try let me put this in here. I let's was gonna try put some it. garlic, some bar garlic stuff over it. We might be eating that cold. We might be because it's good as it is. I think this garlic is kind of extra. Franklin. Okay. I don't think Franklin. I don't think you can have this bread anyway because it has see. some egg in it. And so stuff. I'm gonna put the chicken, Ooh. some garlic in we'll it. Put the chicken ah. fell. I'm I'm putting some garlic. All right. What do I put this thing on? Normally, we would cook this for another 15 minutes, but we have to just use the heat that's yeah, in here. we don't have time for that. We, we need don't. to do like, oh, you know what? We probably did, but we'd be like just eating in time when it's time to wrap the show up. All right. All so right. we'll put that on. So we'll bake let that just simmer a little bit. Bake. Oh, do I put on bake? Oh, toast. I put on toast. Yeah, put it on toast and let's hope the lights stay on. on. We're so sorry. Oh, my God. Next time we'll on. know. Is it plugged in? Is it hot? It hasn't cooked long enough, Franklin. Suffer through. It, it. looks good. Is that on? I don't think it's on. I'm walking now to the kitchen <laughs> to get some Parmesan cheese because right. I forgot to bring it out. Oh, there we go. I hear it now. <sighs> yes. Producer's hands. I'm just gonna take it out when it gets when that butter melts on it, that garlic Ooh. butter. I'm really excited. Mm. I want to taste this so bad. It smells delicious. Is it good, Franklin? Nico, is it good? It's good. He says it's good. He got the vegan version. Version. <laughs> I'm coming with the Parmesan cheese. She's getting the Parmesan. A little bit of Parmesan. The Parmesan. Just a little bit because it didn't cook long enough. So no. we'll just enjoy it as is. Yeah. And I like a little Parmesan on mine. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, we've got a mess. I'm going to start to move some things around here. Okay. And clean this out. So. So we can actually try to enjoy a little yes. bit of this. Yes. I'm excited. Okay. You know what? We should. Hmm. Well, when does summer end? Summer ends in the middle of September, correct? It turns into fall like September 21st? 5th or 21st or something, yeah. First day of fall, I think it's September 21st or 25th. 22nd. Okay, so you know what I haven't made this year? What? Not one tomato pie. Ooh, you've got to make that. That is I like, have not ooh, made one, and I don't know why. That is so good. I'm going to make that. I think we should Do you normally that make that show. in the summer? 
Yes. 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 Oh, so good. I make that in the summer. That is my signature summer dish. Everybody should have a signature dish. They should. They should. You know, that they bring the things. Mine like. is called lobster and crab legs. I love it. <laughs> I would look. I'm, I'm all about that. Lobster and crab I'm about legs. that life. Oh, my God. That should have cooked a lot longer. And I'm not in love with this tomato that I got either. So I won't be buying no. that brand again. Yeah. It's a little bit harsher than normally. Well, I usually um, use um, Italian um, crushed tomatoes in the can. Oh, okay. And, or aroma tomato. I like aroma And normally tomatoes. I get the aroma tomatoes, but I didn't have time to go out and get them. And then I add tomato paste as well. And then you add the wine and the olive oil and all those things. And it becomes this rich, really rich, thick gravy almost is what the Italians call it. So we'll have a modified version today. She's making sauce. I'm making the sauce in the gravy. No, if you let it simmer low and normally chicken cacciatore is made with whole chicken pieces. Like oh. I said, you quarter the chicken, cut it, uh -huh. um, and then you put the whole pieces in. And so then you would put that into a baking dish, pour uh -huh. the sauce over it, and bake it very mm. slowly for an hour and a half, two hours. So we did a Ooh. stovetop version, a very quick version of it. And that way, it's like this rich wine-infused, olive oil-infused sauce. It sounds delicious. So grab your chair. Ooh, okay. We're about to eat, y'all. Huh? Uh, in what? Yeah, you can actually season it and leave it in the refrigerator overnight. Um, that's going to give you the same. If you use stoneware to cook it in, you don't have to do the overnight thing because that stoneware, all that seasoning in the stoneware is going to come out in that chicken when it's oh, baking. Cool. And that's what I really like. Okay, so I'm going to give you Thank your fork. you. Stephen, do you have your fork and knife? A napkin and yeah, I just looked at it. The butter still, oh, it's almost ready. Yeah, this it, might do give did me you put it on, two more did seconds. You put it on broil, I put it on, put it toast. on broil. Okay, broil, so it'll do it at the top, too. Yeah, so I think we're gonna have to figure out how to make this work. Um, I don't know which lines are connected, uh huh. So we'll have to know. Probably put it over there. What are we talking yeah. about? The, the lines, the electrical outlets. Oh, Some of them are connected, oh, oh, oh. and that's why it keeps tripping. Okay. Now, our little lop, our, our um, pasta is a little cold. That's okay. And this is gluten free pasta. What? Yes, Good. You know Thank you. Our little gluten free, but the sauce is going to make it hot. I'm excited. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Use your meat. And so I'm going to see. Okay. Yes. And I want to put your so, salad. Yeah, here. we're going to get some salad. I think I want some Parmesan on my salad. Hold on. Okay. And where's my little ladle? Okay, the chicken should be good. I wish we could cook this a little longer, but we'll just make do. That chicken looked really good. What? Yeah, because we can um, we can unplug this. Okay, here's one? your pasta. I'll, I'll wait and get you some sauce. Get you some sauce. Now I'm scared. This one, are you sure this one will come out? Okay. Let's give it up one more time. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, okay. how do I do this? Hold on. Oh, I know how to do it. Can you, can you get this, the, the thing there? Hold on. Let me put that here. Okay. You know what I should have gotten? What? Those conduction cooktops. Oh, because I think they use less power and they get hotter. Oh, really? I've got to find a conduction one, maybe on Amazon or oh, something. Because I we're yes. going to be doing cooking shows going forward. What? Uh, we're going to have some macaroni and cheese throwdowns, and Girl. you know, with the ladies that think they make macaroni and cheese better than me. What about you? Is your macaroni and cheese like it? No. All right. So my macaroni and cheese is okay. okay. That's right, so not my. You'll thing. be a judge. Yeah, I can be a judge. You'll be a judge. I like macaroni and cheese. cheese. Yeah, we got two ladies that we're going to have a mac and cheese throwdown. I'm about that life. And then my son says he makes the best shrimp and grits what? ever. Can he make it with lobster, though? Because uh, if he can make it with lobster. Oh, lobster and grits. Yes. Ooh. That's what I was saying because when I made it, I had to make it with some. I had to make it with mm. crab. It was mm. not the same. I know. But 
No, come on, guys. Come on out. Come on, everybody. Okay. Come on. I don't know why Ellen wants to be here. Okay, this is like the craziest show ever this week. I know. This is Cuckoo Show. This is Cuckoo. This is Cuckoo Show. Thank God I wasn't talking about anybody when I was walking Damn down the hall. Because they'd have heard you. <laughs> show enough. Show enough they would have. I'm, I'm going to try to eat some salad, too. Yes. By all means. Get Honey some ginger salad. dressing. Ooh, you got choices. Olive yes, oil, I gave options balsamic. today. Let's see. And we have creamy Aussie. Ooh, the Caesar. I don't remember the last time I had bread, y'all. You know I'm what? I think I'm going to try to honey ginger. tear this bread up. Ooh, oh, where's the salad? Some Here. Bread. Mm. And it's just salad. regular, basic spinach, tomato, onions, cucumbers. I ain't get it. I'm going to put a little here. Parmesan on mine. I'm saving okay. my Parmesan for my salad. I know, because I couldn't find any hardly. Just a tiny bit. Now. That's in all the, right. In the warehouse kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right. You I'm want salad? Want uh, some salad? Okay. All right. I'm gonna I have not used my fork there. yet. So. Okay. Okay, how are we doing? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to turn this off now. I'm going to hope that it comes out at least halfway good. There you go. Well, we hope everybody's wearing masks. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, it looks Ooh. good. I don't know if it's cooked long enough, but we'll make do. Honey. It looks good. I know, look, as long as that chicken yeah, is cooked, good. I don't care. Yeah, that looks amazing. That looks good. All right, I just made a mess. I'm like the sloppiest cook ever. You and me both. I'm just oh, picking up God. cucumbers off the table. You know what? Pass me your plate. Let's go down. Oh, here. Let's, let's get this yes. one. Yeah. Boom. You know what? I like dipping my bread in the sauce, me too. Me, too. Especially if it's good and rich. I'm going to eat a little bit of this bread because I know it's good. It's, it's, oh, that's right. You have the... <laughs> Ooh. I forgot about you. What you got? What allergies? He's got acid. You know, his... Oh. Acid. Oh, here. Look at me. I'm serving. Yeah, look at I'm serving. I'm serving. Remember that Thanksgiving? Was it Thanksgiving we did? We Where? had a Thanksgiving show. Where? Here. Did we have Thanksgiving? I here? think so. Oh, that's right. For the show. Yeah. We did. It was great. It was so good. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for the I was thinking food. about when we were in the summer. Your, the first time I had really good pimento cheese. Oh, yours. my gosh. After and, that, you know, she was, tried to. She like, tried to taste somebody else's and bring somebody else I in here know. with some pimento cheese. She knew better. That, I'm sorry. That pimento cheese was just not. I'm about to say, so you know me. Yours. That's what I do. So pimento you know cheese. What? I used to think pimento cheese was like for, how do I say this? Less than financially healthy people. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, pimento New York, cheese is in like New York, good. we would go, oh, is that cheese, like, that you know, cheese dish. That cheese. And mm. so nobody would buy it. I mean, a lot of the supermarkets stopped carrying it. And I moved to the South, and suddenly it's everywhere. like pimento cheese is everywhere. <laughs> she a little bougie. She a little bougie. You know, we just didn't it's know okay. what it was. Shut up. Producers aren't allowed to talk. <laughs> She bougie. I was like, okay, I, you know, whatever. That's and then that southern. I still wouldn't eat it until I had yours. And then I felt like I have to eat it because I'm a guest, you know. But yeah. the summer home, they rented a house at the beach. What was I going to do? Say, oh, no, I'm not eating your pimento cheese. Oh, you eating that pimento I, and, cheese. And then I tried to eat all the pimento That's cheese. That's what I'm saying. I had to make some more. <laughs> I'm yeah. I had bougie. Yeah. I had bougie. Oh my God, that was so funny. It was so good though. I and I started it. eating it after that and making it myself. See, it's good. It took me how many years though? 20 years to get That's, to the South Sea. Mm -hmm. We have some oh, good This is food rare here. actually to be not in the oven. And the chicken is delicious. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Let me taste mm. all the Italian spices. Mm. It has a little bit of tartness that I don't like. What is that? It's I love it though. That's the sauce. That's the tartness on the sauce. If you let it cook that longer, it so smooths good. out. I mm. love that. Do you like the tartness? I like it. You know what it reminds me of? It tastes like not like a full cherry, mm -hmm. like the you know the the cherry, mm -hmm. but like a it has that essence, just that that tartness. Yeah, and it tastes good with the red wine. I mean, it really it's is good. good. I'm the, very happy. What are you with having it? yours with? Uh, Sweet Bella. Yeah. I'm I like the melange. The red blend, yeah, the yeah. melange. It's really good. I love a melange. This would also be good with a pinot. Mm. You know, a pinot would work really well with this. And I love a little parm cheese on mine. But this mm. chicken 
See, this is why you always cook the chicken breast last. Look at that. It's so yeah. tender and moist. And this recipe actually is pretty good. Well, let me taste the bread. This is with the vegan it's butter. Good. No, I put the oh, put I the put the garlic butter. butter. Because it's not vegan. Oh, it's not vegan. The, I don't think the bread is vegan. Mm, the bread is good. It's so good. Put the bread that, in the sauce. That bread might be vegan. Mm, that is, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Next time. Next time. Mm, that bread is delicious dipped in the sauce. Mm, See, I mm, love to dunk mm. my bread. This is really good. So our next excursion really happy. of cooking something, I mm -hmm. think we should do a dessert. I think oh, we what should are we do gonna a do? dessert with wine. We could do a peach cobbler that we Ooh. put that we put peach whiskey or peach wine in. Mm. Mm. I think that'll be good. Mm. Ooh, and I love peach cobbler. Now mm. peaches are almost out of season. Peach cobbler. Really? Are you gonna make it in front of the camera? Because that's what we're doing. We're cooking and making peach cobbler. I love peach yeah. cobbler. I do too. And I don't. We can make it right here mm -hmm. and make some peach cobbler. Now, I can make crust. You know how to make crust? No. I can do the I know crust. I don't buy crust. <laughs> that's what I do. I can make the crust. So <laughs> you're doing all the peach ingredients, and we can yeah. do a peach cobbler. I hopefully everybody would love that. Mm. Mm. That would be good. That sounds delicious. That does. I'm gonna have some salad with something green mm. in it. Ugh. My um. Mm. Oh, I like the ginger. Can I tell you? I planted a peach tree what? last year. They're out. The sweetest, most juiciest peaches. They were small. That's yeah. the thing. When like when you when you have a like on. Because I don't have an orchard. Mm -hmm. I have one one peach tree. You don't need two peach trees. Mm -hmm. You just have one. Right. The peaches were so small. Like but they golf were, balls? yeah, like little golf balls. The sweetest peaches, like mm. about the size of a apricot. Mm. Okay. The sweetest peaches I've ever mm. eaten in my life. Are they gonna grow bigger, or is that gonna be the size of them? I don't know. I guess if the tree grows bigger. Is it bigger. a dwarf? Dwarf. Okay, so it'll get bigger. Hopefully, mm. it needs some age mm, on it. Right. But I promise you, mm. I was like, it's not enough to make jam. I probably picked off like ten peaches. Yeah. It's yeah. not enough to make jam. It's not enough to do anything with. Right. I could have probably made a small, like mini cobblers and yeah. the little tarts. The little tarts. But no, I wasn't oh, thinking about nice that. To make little that would be cute. Mm, everybody can take some home too. Mm. But my okay, this is so good with this. Yeah, my apple trees didn't make it, so oh, I have no. to print some plant some more. And you know what's funny? I had a pear tree. I bought you pear trees. You need two of. Uh -huh. I'm learning this as I go. Y'all know I live on the farm. Pear trees. Bought two of them. I came outside one day. The pear tree. And if if you're watching, if you can tell me what happened, please do. Pear tree. Full of pears. Mm -hmm. I promise you, it was like a hundred pears on this pear mm -hmm. tree. Mm -hmm. I had pulled it back because the pears were, it was leaning, mm -hmm. like like the pears were too heavy. Right. So they, the the tree was leaning. So I took and I pulled it back and and tied it to the the post mm -hmm. just to set it back up because yeah. someone said if the it's going to break the branch, right. it's going to kill the it's going to kill the tree. I promise you, not even a week later, I went outside and every mm -hmm. pear on the tree was gone it was not on the ground they were not on the branches i bet the deer got it a hundred pairs i bet they did and look they brought their cousins <laughs> <laughs> they killed my tree they brought the kids and the kids because the tree died like oh, wow. the same like the you i saw mm -hmm. the the they were it was no pairs i mean one day there was a hundred pairs and the next day there were none how, they the, how tall was the tree tall the tree is like 10 feet couldn't have been deer then. What All the of them are gone. Maybe Not it was one squirrels. Hair some ghetto was squirrels. On the ground. I ain't lying. Some, some ghetto, ghetto some squirrels, ghetto squirrels coming to my house. Got them. Things. Got them. Oh but their cousins. <laughs> we gonna steal all we these. Get all these bears. You and I was them. so excited. What? I was so. Oh my god. I, I can't say. That I was is the proud, weirdest thing I've ever heard. Of. But I was so excited. So now it's, it, the the tree is dead, and it's like I saw. So I had to Google it, find out what's going on with this tree. Right. And it's like some kind of disease. And they showed me the picture. And that's pretty much what my tree looks like. Right. And I went and I started cutting it back today. And it's like, I have to have somebody come. And I'm either going to have to dig the tree up. Because I still have a pear tree over here. Does it say that's what happens to the pears? They just, they say that it's likely. <laughs> but they didn't say like about the pears disappearing. Yeah. There's, that's that's just thing. bizarre to me. Because I looked everywhere. I mean, 100 pears. If the mm. tree died, 100 pears, at least five of them should be on the ground. At least. at least something should be there. Mm. I don't know. Normally, when you have a so you know good. a garden, when I had mine, 
um, the, the deer would come and eat mm -hmm. all the blackberries mm -hmm. and the strawberries. So you were like, okay, not doing right. these anymore because it's just They're feeding them. Yeah. Unless you gate it in. And yeah. And then we had chicken wire and the whole thing. I'm like, this is too much work. They're a little ingenious for my and taste. And then I had cantaloupes and I had mm. like watermelons. I had lettuce. I had this whole thing. I go out and I'm looking, checking my um, cantaloupe because they were getting pretty big. Uh huh. And a big black snake ran through, and I went, "This no. is your garden, baby." No. This is your garden. I never Whoa. went back in. I never went back in. Never got a cantaloupe, a piece of what? Nothing. I don't mind. Ooh. I don't mind Ooh. watching a black snake Ooh. move away. It was away. big. It was big. Yeah, I see one. One like I haven't seen any this year. Last year, I killed a copperhead. Ooh. And then what? I was back in the back of the yard and I saw another one walking, going away from the barn. And then yeah. I saw a black snake going over here. Like, I don't mind black snakes yeah. because they're going to kill all these other snakes. Yeah. I don't mind them. Yeah. I don't mess with them. But the, the, I felt bad for the copperhead because I probably didn't have to kill him. But yes, the fact did. of the matter is you are you in my property and you up under my rocks over there by my, my How pond. How did you kill it? I took a hole. Oh, my God. No, you didn't. You I country did. Girl. I'm country. Cornbread, girl, 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 cornbread. cornbread. I, I, I killed that Hog moths with chickens. a hole. I won't play in because yeah. it's like if it was some other snake under them. the rocks, yeah, they needed to see me kill them so they know not to mess with Tell me. Tell your friends and family. <laughs> Tell them all. Don't come out here. You on my property. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. refuse. Don't come out here. Don't come out oh my here. God, I don't mess with like seriously. <laughs> 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 it was a mafia. That's what I said. I don't mess with black snakes. Black snakes, you can do whatever you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But Copperhead, yeah. bye. That is just, that's just bye. Uh -uh. anything that I don't recognize, bye. I recognize a black snake. Yeah, see, I don't. I'm a scared. I'm scared of all of them. All of them, I'm scared of. So I just, I can't look at them in a picture. I cleared Ow. a New York City subway car. I screamed so loud, the police came, guns drawn, and my mother's like. There was a snake in the Vogue magazine she was reading. Oh, I um, threw the magazine. Um, what you call her, Stephen And Bougie? I screamed. <laughs> so loud. Oh, all right, a Vogue magazine. I was in middle school. <laughs> I it was, was in a magazine. School. It wasn't even on the subway. It was in a magazine. Oh, a magazine. Omg! It was in a magazine. Bougie. And I was reading Vogue <laughs> magazine because I was a shoe fanatic even back then. And I screamed. I cleared the subway. Go <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I've never. I am the girl. <gasps> oh my god! I am the girl that gets out there and protests. Shut up. <laughs> and, and he'll get this snake out this magazine. My... <laughs> there you go. There you go. That is hilarious. <laughs> but yes, I'm just like I can't look at pictures of him. So when he entered my garden, officially that was that snake's garden. <laughs> that is now your cantaloupe. That's your cucumbers, your tomatoes. Oh whatever. my god. Never to be done. Mm. Now you know what I want to do. What? It's one of the ones you do inside, the hydrophonic mm -hmm. ones. Mm. I could do that now. Yeah. Yeah, because that you know you can do inside. Yeah. But they say it's a little bit more work to get it started, but less cumbersome once mm -hmm. it starts coming in. So I think it's time to wrap up. Is it? Yes, oh. it is. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, thank you for that great question. question. I am pivoting. I'm still going to offer the services that I do, which is wine classes, winery tours. I've, I've cut back on the winery tours. I've, mm -hmm. I've re, you know, positioned those. Um, but we're going into corporate gifts. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's that's always been a passion. Greeting cards, corporate gifts. My first company, not my first. Was this my first company? I think my first company that I had was a gift basket yeah. company. Okay. So I'm doing it. I'm changing the model, but I'm I'm ready to do things where um, me and my team yeah. don't have to be on site right. so much. Mm -hmm. You know, we're still going to offer those services because they are a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And it is like people, that's what people expect. Right. But I do want to do more gifts, you know, and I can bless you in, mm -hmm. in, in different ways. Right. And it's like, so those, but, that's, that's what I'm thinking about next. But, and of course we have. Yes. We do. You'll see that at the end of the year. Splash. Yes, we do. But here's what, here's what you're doing, though, with your pivots. And this is what I think people need to understand. You're still pivoting in the industry right. that you love. And in the industry. I'm staying in the industry. industry. This yes. is what I love. Not Ten pivoting years. to something else. 
Right. There you I'm go. not reinventing. Exactly. Like, Cause I have had a lot of careers in my life, but I like, I like, I like wine. I like wine. And there's a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, my whole thing, uh, I'm just staying true to the folks that are new to wine mm -hmm. and love wine. Yeah. And I want you to get comfortable with wine, get comfortable with your palate. That's where I am. That's the space I like to be in. But I do have offerings for people who are wine con connoisseurs. Yeah. yeah. You know, but it's, it's room for everybody. Right. It is. You know, and we're not trying to bring you to this level. We're not trying to do anything. We just want you to love wine. Love you to love wine. That's it. I, I think um, we closed on that note, oh. which is everybody, if you've taken nothing else from today, it is you can make food on a hot plate and mm. a toaster oven. Just make sure that your electricity works. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I go back to with the MSNBC mm -hmm. of, you know, a virtual wine. But you campaign. saw us keep going, though. Well, you saw us keep going. I don't know what you saw, I but I know that I saw this camera here. And we were cooking with wine mm -hmm. today. We're going to continue to do this, and we're going to refine it. Where you know we get it right, but this was our first time actually mm -hmm. cooking, was which was fun. And I eventually we'll get back to our Fridays. Our yeah. Fridays were our sweet spot. I love so we'll Fridays. Back, I love like Fridays. We'll get back to Fridays. So this was wonderful. Thank you so much for Thank helping you. me with this. this yes, my pleasure. Next week, maybe we'll do a peach cobbler or something. Ooh. Let's do something fun. Let's do something fun. Let's do something fun. All right. Thank you so much. I'm Gwen Hurd from Shoe Crazy Wine. And I am Teresina St. Clair, the Tipsy Somalia. And 10 years, girl. And keep Woo! Going. Let's Woo -woo. do it. Woo -woo. There you go. Woo-woo.